Hey, what's up guys? I'm just making another video on the DIY uplighting setup. And um, you can see that it's sitting on top of a coffee can lid. It's not actually fit uh, fixed onto a flat surface or circuit board. So what I had to do was push the lenses around a little bit so that um, they sit pretty, uh, you know, like... Uh, blend well sit so that they kind of shoot in the same place so they, they blend well so anyway here's red here's green and here's blue they're kind of generally in the same spot so uh, once you get achieve that then you're able to get a pretty good blend color so anyway I want to show you some DIY colors that I did blends this one is amber and it's funny because as soon as I get to it it starts off looking orange but then it turns red inside the camera it's an auto contrast feature on the camera I guess so this is red and this is amber and uh, in person it's actually pretty impressive it's actually a lot better than my hundred dollar um, par can that I got a few years ago and um, you could also increase the green in it. Of course, you start seeing like streaks of green. It's um, you could see it in the camera right now a little bit, but it's a lot worse in person. But right about here, it's a very opaque golden amber, and it looks red right in the camera. But believe me, that's amber. All right, I would call this fuchsia. Or possibly a bright magenta and the longer I hold the camera on it the more purple it gets <laughs> and once again it's auto contrast on the phone this one I would call this lavender and it makes the it looks blue in the camera yeah, maybe I should change, I should use a different camera because this is auto contrasting everything a little too much. This one I would call a rich blue or brilliant blue. It's a blue with a little bit of green in it. This, wow, it looks really green in the camera, but this is a Tiffany blue. It's a greenish blue or aqua blue. And um, I'll show you green right now. This is green. And this green looks a little more um, on the orange side. But anyway, this is my Tiffany. And this one I would call a, this would be magenta. So I would call this one the fuchsia and magenta but anyway you could actually kind of like play around with the colors you could kind of like I don't know say if I want to add green I could toss that in there by hitting this button right here I'm holding it and now we have white and of course the further up you go the more rainbow it looks which is ugly so I'll take that out for now but yeah, that's a pretty color, right? Magenta and fuchsia. These two colors remind me of Disneyland. And that's lavender. Amber. And of course you could get it through, make it do a chase mode. So here's a fade mode. So you kind of go through the primary colors. Sorry, that was my finger. And yeah, it's a 44 key uh, remote, it's great. Here's a jump, it's labeled jump, but I think it's kind of like a, a strobe thing. Oh no, I guess, yeah, it goes through different colors and then you could speed it up if you want to. And yeah, it's a little fast, I'm gonna slow it down. Or, oh, okay, so this one goes through more mixed colors. Let's see, this is 
fade number three. Let's see what this does. I guess it kind of glue the primary colors one at a time. But these are uh, programs that are already on the remote, which is great. Whoa. Slow it down. So yeah, that's fun. Fade number seven goes through the mixture. This is flash. Okay, this one's a strobe, a strobe one. And we can get this to go. That's a strobe light. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have a seizure in here. Let's see what auto is. Oh, this is kind of... That's cool. This is auto mode, so I'm not hitting any other buttons, but um, it's just running through a bunch of programs right now. We could slow it down if we want to. <laughs> but it's not as dramatic. Yeah, but I mean, you know, for the most part, I think it's the most fun if you're able to do the DIY color. So, you know, you're able to kind of like raise it in one color and really pick out um, the opacity of everything. And of course, if you want to decrease the amount of light you could just kind of lower it oh red is gone now change the relationship intensity of course you know you run in a little bit of hues here and there but yeah nothing um no, no weaknesses that um you know, any other fixtures aren't going to have, so I'm actually very, very happy with this outcome. And um, this is about, probably spent about $20 of parts in here, including um, the receiver unit and the remote. That was about 5 bucks maybe. And then, you know, I'm not counting the The prototyping board but these things are about a dollar twenty for a two pack so there's three packs worth of res uh, resistors or two and a half packs and the light bulbs themselves are about 50 cents a piece so six dollars in bulbs and you also need to get this thing called the columnator they're basically lenses let me pull this one off real quick and show you. So that's a lens that the uh, that sits on top of the surface mount LED. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. You know what? I'm gonna turn this off and turn the light on. So it's a surface mount LED, and it's really blurry. And that's called a culminator. And basically it um, takes a wide angle uh, surface mount LED and focuses it. This one's a 25 degree lens, I believe. <clears throat> and actually, I think um, I'm going to try out the 30 degree and 40 degree <clears throat> culminators that they have available on eBay. And uh, see which ones give me the best color mixture. But yeah, fun stuff, guys. All right, um, I think that's a long enough video. Please uh, feel free to ask questions if you guys want me to answer anything. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll have a community of people that's uh, building these things and uh, have a lot of fun, a lot of DIY fun. All right, take care.